Hello, I'm Daniel Ott, Associate Professor of Music in the Department of Art History and Music at Fordham University. This past spring, I taught a course at Fordham's Lincoln Center campus called Music Composition, a workshop in which 12 student composers had the opportunity to create original instrumental compositions while working with professional musicians from the New York City-based chamber music group Exponential Ensemble. The course was to have culminated in a concert this past April, which would have been the final performance of Exponential Ensemble's 2019-2020 season. But to our great disappointment, that wasn't possible. When it became clear that we would no longer be able to hold our concert live, the musicians of Exponential Ensemble and I, along with our students, had to devise a plan B. We decided instead to record the composer's finished pieces and then asked each of them to create a short video introduction in which they would talk about what inspired their music. In a moment, I'll introduce you to Pascal Archer, artistic director and clarinetist with Exponential Ensemble, who will tell us more about that process. But before I do, I just would like to acknowledge all the hard work of our students, who practically overnight had to reimagine what this semester, and indeed for our seniors, what their final semester at Fordham would be like. You'll hear the results for yourselves shortly. But, and I'm speaking now as a fellow composer, not just as a professor, but I and my colleagues at Exponential Ensemble agree that these young composers have created some remarkable music to share, and we are very proud of them all. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Pascal Archer, Artistic Director of Exponential Ensemble, who will tell us more about what we are going to hear. Greetings from the Exponential Ensemble. We are very excited to present you today with INSPO 4, our last concert of season nine, Exponential. This season, our theme was inspiration, which is a very important part of a composer's creative process. Beginning last January, members of the Exponential Ensemble visited Dr. Ott's music composition class to demonstrate their instruments, discuss the technical details of musical notation, orchestration, and compositional approach. By March, students had begun to turn their attention to their final projects. When the coronavirus pandemic forced the class to be taught remotely, we continued to meet the students online, which posed real obstacles, considering that we had students and musicians across three continents. Nevertheless, we persisted, and when it became clear that our April concert at Lincoln Center had to be canceled, we decided to record all of the finished compositions from home. For each piece, we first had one musician make audio recordings of their part in small sections and then send those recordings onto the next musician to play along with and in turn record their own part. Once all the parts were recorded, Dr. Ott and I assembled the full audio recordings using audio engineering software. We also wanted today's performance to look as close as possible to a real concert, so we had each musician take a video of themselves playing along with the recording. The result, we feel, looks and sounds as if we were making music together, all from home. If you wish to learn more about this program and to read about the composers, please visit our website. Thank you all again for joining us, and please enjoy our virtual concert. My name is Evan Donaldson. I'm a junior at Fordham University's Lincoln Center campus studying political science and music. My composition is called A Hero's Tale. It tries to capture the sense of inspiration that leads to adventure, conflict, and a triumphant resolution.
I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Charlie Arnett, and I'm a senior at Fordham College Rose Hill. And uh, I cannot say thank you enough to the Exponential Ensemble for continuing to work with us through this tumultuous semester and for helping make all of our compositions come to fruition or become reality. Uh, and my piece is titled Dodrin's Dilemma, and it is for flute, clarinet, and cello. And it was originally conceived as sort of an observation of graduating into senior year and all the uncertainties that are sort of contained within that. And now it's sort of developed as 
that sort of uncertainty combined with the uncertainty of what we are all facing with this global crisis and what everything will look like uh, on the other side of that. So I hope you all enjoy. My name is Laurelise and I was an exchange student from France at Fordham this year uh, for my last year of bachelor. So I wrote a piece of music for flute, oboe and piano which I called Illusion. As the name implies, it is about having an illusion that reveals itself to be a disillusion. So it is about the process of understanding the reality, fighting against this truth, but eventually accepting that it was just an illusion and moving on. When I wrote it, as I was thinking about a more specific personal experience, but I want you to interpret it with whatever experience of an illusion you've had. And I hope you will enjoy it.
Hi, my name's Kevin Michaels. Uh, I'm a senior this year at Fordham College at Lincoln Center. I'm a music major and a film and television minor. Um, and as an actor, I'm primarily a singer. So I uh, thought of this piece in terms of a kind of singable, melodic uh, melody um, that hopefully people could go home and hum. Uh, and I definitely thought of it in terms of a voice and uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Hello, it's Noé. Um, I was an exchange student from France at Fordham, so I'm back here in France right now. I wrote a piece for woodwind instruments and cello, so there is a flute, clarinet and cello. Um, the name is um, Discord, because I wanted to show like the differences that could exist between the two woodwinds and make like question and answers between the, the two woodwind parts and a cello which gives the rhythm, the rhythm and which is more here to, to control the piece and then they are trying to articulate their part and to play together and this is the end of the piece so I hope you enjoy it
Hi, my name is Mary McCluskey. I'm a senior at Fordham College Rose Hill, double majoring in music and psychology. My piece is called In Like a Lion, and its title comes from the expression In Like a Lion, Out Like a Lamb, used to describe the month of March. When composing this piece, I considered the ideas of longing, strife, perseverance, and unexpected resolutions, concepts that I feel relate not only to the weather in the month of March, but also to one's personal struggles or endeavors. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy! Thank you. 
The next work on our program is titled The Beginning of a Dream by Nemo Keen. Nemo is a student at Fordham College at Lincoln Center with a double major in music and film and television. Nemo asked if I could help with this introduction by saying that it was inspired by the feeling a person gets when they start a video game that introduces a new world. It's in three movements and it's written for a woodwind trio of flute oboe and clarinet.
Hi everyone, my name is Lailinda Xu. I'm a senior at Rose Hill studying international studies and music with a minor in French, and this is my piece called Herbal Tea. Um, I was inspired to name it Herbal Tea because um, just being at home, I uh, drink tea with my family on the weekend sometimes, um, and we don't necessarily drink herbal tea, but it's just um, a really cozy and nostalgic moment, um, something that I feel is really close to uh, just my family and my family's traditions and my heritage. Um, and that was something that I wanted to capture and emulate through my composition. So I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Matthew DeVito. I'm a senior at Fordham, recently graduated uh, with a major in environmental science and a music minor. I wrote this piece, Random and Happenstance, at the beginning of quarantine. At the time, my shower head was leaking and I was trying to collect the water in a ceramic pot. So after the pot had filled, I noticed the sound of dripping water and found it very pleasant. So uh, that was the happenstance in which uh, I got the inspiration for the melody that you'll hear at the very beginning of this piece. Um, I want to thank Dr. Ott and the Exponential Ensemble for all their, all their hard work and making this project a uh, success. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy it.
Hi everyone, my name is Grace Davidson and I am a junior studying music and philosophy at Fordham College at Rose Hill. This semester I was really interested in existentialist philosophy, reading um, a lot of Albert Camus especially, and I think this had a really positive impact on my outlook on life in general and also my musical interests in terms of mood and texture. So please enjoy the Exponential Ensemble performing my piece trio for flute, clarinet, and cello. Hi, my name is Auden, and I'm a senior who just graduated from Fordham College Rose Hill with the class of 2020. I majored in music, and I minored in computer science and math. When I was writing this piece, I drew inspiration from contemporary composers like Steve Reich and Ola Yellow. I was less concerned with traditional expressions of melody and harmony, and more concerned with textures and how to shift between them. Finally, I just want to thank Dr. Ott, the extremely talented Exponential Ensemble, my classmates, and everyone else who made this event possible. Thanks.
Hi, my name is Ezekiel Montez. I am currently a junior at Fordham University, of course. So overall, musically and structurally, to some extent, um, it is inspired by the danza, which is a traditional 19th century Puerto Rican ballroom dance music. In the middle of the piece, there is, is this big change in musical material, or this shift in mood. Um, I, I think it's the most important part of the piece, personally. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 